So it's been over a day since I made my last video talking about the Linus tech tip situation and everything that was going on with it. If you do not know what I'm talking about to catch you up to speed, pretty much the situation boils down to Gamer Nexus made a video that called out Linus tech tips and his corporation because of a lot of ethical concerns and a lot of misinformation they were spreading. And it was supposed to be in good faith to try and, you know, bring to light things that they need to work on. But unfortunately, Linus took it the worst way possible and then went to his forum to rant and make a whole post saying that he's not going to cover this on the WAN show or do any of that. And and people were just like what the fuck man and then gamer nexus replied back and now fast forward to present day and oh there's been a lot so if you want to get caught up from the beginning to where we're at now i have a link in the description below to the first video i made talking about all this but now we're going to unpack everything that has unfolded since my last video so to the surprise of just about everybody linus tech tips actually posted a update talking about the whole situation yes ladies and gentlemen they actually replied back and you know what all things considered it's not the worst video in the world but when you got things like this i can't say it's a good video either we address both the concerns that have been raised and how we intend to fix them with the money we'll make from our sponsor. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, uh, why, why would you put that in the video, dog? Are, are you are, are you not reading the room? Linus, you don't read the room either. I guess no one on the team read the room. Why would you put that in there? This is supposed to be a serious video and then you put that in there. But you know what? Surely, you know, surely it was only once. It couldn't happen again, right? As for how we catch those bugs, that's not my department, so I'm throwing it over to Nick. Hold on, hold on. I'm mostly on the product side. LTTstore.com. What? Somebody had to say it. No one had to say it. Your editor should have cut that out. That shouldn't be in the video. This is supposed to be, again, a serious video tackling all the things that have been addressed and said, but we're here plugging in LTT Store <coughs> and today's sponsor. Sure, you can sit there and say, oh, well, you're just trying to make it lighthearted. It's just supposed to be. No, no, no. There's a time and place for it. It's not for this video, specifically this video. And I welcome continued constructive feedback. Thank you for all for holding us accountable. I feel ready for the challenge and ready for this message from our sponsor. <laughs> just kidding again. But Dbrand did offer. When I watched this video and I saw those plugs happen in there, even though, of course, there's no sponsor. But the point is, what do, what do you hold? Or do you want like a good job? You know what? You didn't take a sponsorship for this video. We're we're so proud of you. Wow. Well, guess what? Gamer Nexus video didn't take any sponsors. And guess what? Guess what? They didn't even have advertising turned on. There's no monetization actually enabled for the video. But for the Linus Tech Tips video, at least when I watched it this morning on my phone, I got advertisements for it. Now, because people called them out in the comment section, they're probably going to disable it if it hasn't already been yet. But at the time of me making this video, when I watched it on my phone, there was ads. So that's kind of a little, that's another sour taste in the mouth. But leaving all that behind, I just wanted to point that out because you know what you have to right like the whole point is to really understand the situation at hand and to actually try to give your best response possible and while they do land on some things i feel like those little details are still significant enough to really just sour someone's impression of your video and you know the message that they're supposed to take from it when they're supposed to sit there and be like you know what we understand y'all you guys genuinely care and want to do better but then when you put in plugs like that and then you got a CEO who's reading off a teleprompter and he's pretty much and today from our sponsor and ready for this message from our sponsor. Sounding like someone just took all the energy out of his body and has no life left and he needs to go take a nap. You know, I, that's kind of just why. What's the point of having in the video? Is that supposed to be like comedic relief? Supposed to be like <laughs> silly LTT. You guys are so funny. No, <laughs> no, that's not how it should be. This is supposed to be serious, but hey that's just my opinion now i know that this video has been pretty negative so far and i know it probably feels like to a lot of you know hardcore linus tech tips fans that man you're just going for the low-hanging fruit you're just trying to find things to complain about they addressed it why are you doing all this still man and i'll tell you why because it's better to show both sides there's the positives and the negatives i've shown you some of the negatives now i want to show you the positives because there are positives but I have to get that out of the way for me to ignore that and just act like it didn't happen is silly and you know goddamn well everyone's going to point it out because it's in bad taste for them to include that in their video but i digress so now i want to focus on to one of the points that they made in the video that i think is really good and i'm really glad to see them address it because i think it's one of their biggest weak points inside their entire corporation staying relevant on youtube is hard for everyone but we aren't fighting for survival anymore and we don't need to run at this pace in fact, in some ways, it's our efforts to keep doing more and keep doing better that have created our current situation. My background is in managing a pharmacy where the small details matter a lot. And basically, I agree with the community, so I'm putting my foot down. Effective immediately, all YouTube video production is on pause 
And our teams are going to be spending this entire next week focusing on long-term workflow changes to make our content better in a lasting way. This means for the first time in over 12 years, LTT will be missing not just one daily upload, but many. But improving to the degree that we want and need is going to take more than a week. So I'll be working with Taryn and Colton to manage our sponsor commitments and the financial hit of both this housekeeping week and a reduction in our LTT upload schedule. And so out of all the points that was made in the video, I think that this is the greatest one because I feel like this is the, the crucial weak point of the corporation is the need, the urge, the drive to want to keep making content fast, quick, and just get boom, 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 get it out there. Be first, be first, always got to do it first. And the thing is, LTT is a corporation. It's a big one. They are pretty much like the giants on YouTube. Yes, you can sit there and say to a point, well, if they don't make a video in like five days, then, you know, they keep it up. Then, of course, they would probably start to slow down and fall into irrelevancy. Not probably ever at all, but to an extent, right? People be like, man, LTT, they used to upload all the time. But the issue that they think they face and the mindset they have when it comes to this stuff is things that creators like me face. That's things that I have to deal with. I'm the small guy here. I'm the one with like, what, 4,000 subscribers. You know, if I make a video on a topic, if I make it like three days later, Guess what, dog? I ain't getting no views on that. Everyone's already made their videos. All the big channels, they already did it. I have to worry about making sure that my video comes out in a timely manner. And that is like, boom, 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 boom. I got to get this shit out here because if I wait, then I'm, I'm going to lose all the traction. I'm not going to get any chance to have any exposure on my video because everyone else would already have beaten me to the race. And the algorithm isn't going to promote a small channel versus a big one who covered the same topic. So when it comes to that mindset of trying to make sure you're first out there, you're trying to be one of the first people to get a video talking about a subject. Yes, I completely understand that. And I think it's a very important mindset to have, but I think that's something that only smaller creators face. And I'm glad to see them kind of recognize that, you know what, they don't have to be like breakneck speed trying to get a video out before everybody else now. And they do start to to realize what their position is in this marketplace anyways i do hope that they stay true to this and they actually do commit to this and try and find a better workflow one where it doesn't have as many errors or issues things for people to call out left and right and say hey this video had an error and you released that yesterday and guess what this video had an error uh, what's going on here and then to add on top of that today's video had an error as well too which they i think they now add into blur and post-production youtube allows you in the youtube editor to add certain features to fix things so that you don't have to take the video down and re-upload it in the original version of the video that was released today they showed a screenshot with them talking to billets labs and they showed the price even though billets labs didn't want it disclosed it goes back to the point where things are being rushed too quickly and that there needs to be someone with a fine tooth comb going through the video making sure that there's no imperfections you can afford it right like there's no reason why you can't afford to have someone where their whole entire job is just to make sure that every video that comes out is going to be squeaky clean and that it is ready to go but who knows maybe that's a wild take right there and maybe that's just naive of me to expect from a hundred million dollar valued company maybe that's just not feasible so our team will be spending our week publishing living documents for our testing standards and opening them up to feedback from the community and our peers in the industry should they wish to participate we will also task part of the team with going back through every video with labs data to ensure accuracy, make full corrections, and if there are any fundamental issues with the workflow design or results, pull or replace that video outright. I, we will release our current Mark Bench harnesses as open source items so that the community can audit the code around our test integrations. We will do a vlog style video on Flowplane about our testing from start to finish so you can see how the sausage is actually made. We will open a new community forum post asking for transparency suggestions, and more importantly, we will follow up. We will start placing our testing project number in the credits so we are always open about the data set that was used for the benchmark results. So this is another good change. And I think this is something that a lot of diehard fans of LTT weren't really realizing because I saw it in my own comment sections alongside other comment sections. People are like, well, LTT is just an entertainment channel. Uh, what are you giving them shit for, bro? They're not, you know, you don't go to them for the real tech and, and you know, deep information. You go to someone like Gamer Nexus. And this kind of proves you that you're wrong. When Linus announced that he was building the lab and that was going to be their way to test things and probably be one of the best ones out there, or at least that's what he's hoping to be, 
that means that you're wanting to be more than just an entertainment channel. You cannot sit there and use that excuse of copium. Oh, we're just an entertainment tech channel. Well, you know, we're not really like that crazy in depth. It doesn't work that way and it doesn't instill confidence in the consumer. When you sit there and people are saying, oh, well, it's just an entertainment channel. You shouldn't take them too seriously. Then it kind of makes you wonder, then what's the point of Linus building this whole tech lab and, you know, having the library to go to do all these in-depth numbers and, you know, get all these reports. What's the purpose of that if I can't even guarantee it's accurate? And this is just going to be an entertainment channel who doesn't really care. Obviously, Linus built it for a reason because he does want to be taken seriously when it comes to gathering data and information and being the best one to report the most accurate information. If he didn't care about it, then it would have never been built to begin with. And on top of that, that section I just showed you from their video wouldn't have been included either clearly they do give a fuck and they're more than just a entertainment i guess a lot of people as they say infotainment is what they could be classified as and i think that is a good term but for a lot of people who just scream coping and say well you know what i don't know why you're expecting that from them you're supposed to go somewhere else the reason why they're being criticized is because they're trying to be the same as gamer nexus and other platforms where they try and give the most accurate information possible that is why people have their criticisms when it comes to ltt and their data and after the last round of this that you don't win by screaming loudly or dramaing hard you win by fixing problems improving and becoming a hard target we're still up a lot and we need to own that fix it and move on not be defensive or shirk blame and i think that statement summarizes this entire situation perfectly luke is one of the few people in this entire corporation that i think really has a level head and he really understands the entire situation i almost feel bad for him because of all the shit that he always has to deal with when it comes to all the mishaps that linus happens to get into or the controversy or drama as you want to call it because ultimately luke is right you just need to shut the fuck up and sit there and get to work and sit there and not blame anybody just own your mistakes and move on it doesn't need to be a sit there and point fingers game and say oh well actually we didn't really do this or i don't know what the fuck y'all mad about bro you know trying to deflect there's no reason for any of that just sit there and say i accept it you're right we did fuck up we're gonna do better and move on that's all it should be and it's just unfortunate that i even had to get to this point when it could have been handled so much better from linus realistically i'm not going to be able to hide behind my recent demotion here I was the one at the head of the company for each and every mistake that our community has rightly brought to our attention. And once again, I made things worse by allowing myself to respond emotionally. It's honestly really hard when people take an internal process error and then they run that all the way to Linus is a thief and wants to auction someone else's intellectual property to the highest bidder or accuses me of trying to brush something under the rug just because I do think it's important to get all the details before declaring me to be a low down liar, straight up piece of now, I just want to cover this part real quick because I just found it very intriguing because at least to an extent, Linus is sort of owning it up saying, hey, you know what? I did fuck up, man. I got emotional and I went to the forums and, you know, I said some things that I probably shouldn't have. But the other point to sit there and say, you know what? I don't know why people are running with this whole narrative. They're calling me a piece of shit. They're saying all these different things. But I mean, read the room, bro. As you say yourself, look at the things that people were uh, giving criticism on and complaining about. Sure, some people could have taken it too far. I will agree with that. But can you blame people when after you see gamer nexus follow-up video that he released yesterday talking about the billet lab situation where it wasn't until gamer nexus even made his video that billet labs was even able to get in touch with ltt again it's not hard to be upset and sit there and blame ltt and be like man y'all really are pieces of shit they've been trying to contact y'all since june and it took someone making a video for it popping off and getting millions of views before they could even get in contact with you again of course people are going to call you a piece of shit they're going to be like how do you let this happen how and then on top of it, it got auctioned off regardless of how you might feel personally and emotionally of course it's the internet people are always going to talk shit it happens no matter what but the thing is you have to understand how the situation played out and of course why people get to the reactions and the thoughts that they have this isn't like gamer nexus fabricated all this and this was poofed out of thin air and this was all just an illusion it never actually happened it all did happen read the compensate bill labs for the cost of their prototype uses specific language to imply that this was agreed upon prior to our video launching Following this forum post from Linus, we reached out to Billet Labs, with whom we'd already had contact, and we asked them the following. We said Linus's comment doesn't expressly say it, but it seems to imply that this agreement was made previously. Billet Labs said no, absolutely not, no, no, no. The only mention of any money to do with the prototype was our response to them after they said they'd auctioned it. And we basically said, you know, that was an expensive prototype. They didn't want us to share the exact dollar amount. Billet continued to explain their email. They said, quote, I said, do you plan to reimburse us for this? And we heard nothing. We didn't get a response until your video. And Billet thanked us for it.
We asked Billet when it had received that email from Linus, and they noted it arrived about two to three hours after we published our video, uh, which would have been around the same time that Linus posted the comment on the forums. So he wrote that email and he posted and then said they've already come to an agreement. But at the time he posted it, Billet hadn't uh, responded to the email. And just for the record, we have the timeline of events, so I vetted them. And Linus Media Group did, in fact, agree to send the block back on June 30th, and they agreed again later, and then they followed up to tell Billet that they would have a tracking number soon, and then it was last seen at the auction at LTX. And because of the way it did happen in the timelines for how this all played out, of course people are gonna be actually upset and they're gonna be like, yo, you're a piece of shit. And when you post your video addressing this whole situation on float plane first and someone asks, when will this be on YouTube so we can share it with people who doesn't have float plane? Linus said, I could publish it anytime, but I thought I'd give the float plane folks a good bit of early access like the good old days and to say thanks for sticking around while everyone else wait with bated breath. I really appreciate you guys for not jumping to conclusions. And again, to that, I say that's a very awful doo-doo idea. In what universe do you release that video first on float plane and make it some private early access? We're going to release the video on YouTube later and when we feel like it, we're just going to make people wait and it's, <laughs> I need the response now. No, that's a fucking shitty attitude. You understand the severity of the situation, how important it is. It's not like you got some early access code to some video game that everybody's been waiting for for millions of years and you're the first one who got it. And you got exclusivities so that you're like, you know what? For my fans on float plane, you're going to get early access to see this gameplay footage and then we'll share it on YouTube later. It's not like that. This is a serious situation and it almost feels like it's being played like a game and there's no sincerity to it to an extent. Again, this doesn't speak for everyone inside of the corporation, but in terms of Linus part, it's kind of hard to take them seriously when you see comments like that. Now, for the sake of this video, how long it already is, I won't go on any longer to talk about the rest of it. I mean, it's not much really to cover anymore. It's just pretty much, hey, we understand y'all. We will take this seriously. Trust us, guys. We are not going to be releasing videos for a while. We're really going to make sure that we start putting in processes, which is all sounds good and I can't wait to to see what the end result is because actions speak louder than words but hopefully they do actually mean what they say on top of that i am aware of the madison situation the whole twitter thread that's been going on with the whole sexual assault it's a lot of trigger warnings i'll put a link in the description below if you want to read it yourself i might make another video going over that separately because it's too much for this one video alone and it's a lot more to go in depth and i just don't want to have this video go like 30 40 minutes long but again i will leave a link in the description below if you want to read it for yourself anyways if you made this far into the video consider giving it a like subscribe to the channel let me comment below what you think have a great day yeah